who gets to decide whether our children have autism or not? And what is your response? Yeah, so initially when the speech therapist said to me, um, have you heard of autism? Have you researched it? Have you, do you know anyone that's on the spectrum? I was like, no, um, I don't. Um, she then said, look, she'll start with speech therapy. She recommends we bring her back. And then she gave us a name of a, a couple of places. And there were just different things, different doctors, speech therapy. She went for hearing tests. She went for bloods, all sorts of things under the sun to try and make sense of this word autism. Um, and I, I must be honest, it took years to actually realize that this is a spectrum disorder. Certain things she's got a lot of and certain things it doesn't really touch her that's on the spectrum. But um, I, I've made peace with it. It took me a while. I didn't accept it for a very long time. I was throwing, we were throwing lots of money at it. Lots of specialists. You just do whatever you need to do. Um, and I was convinced um, she's going to be healed. You know, this is not something that she's going to live with for the rest of her life. And, you know, um, I'm at peace now. I'm at peace now. This is who she is. And we love her for it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's one of the things that is one of the biggest things that we need that I'm really definitely trying to do is avoid the the um the what is this <laughs> all about that Chantal experience so really getting autism into that the, the common discussions I and mean, when we talk if people have an understanding of ADHD and dyslexia they have a basic understanding of what that is but there's not a real understanding of what autism means and looks like and it can be really scary for in the first time you get that diagnosis and like Chantal said there is a grieving process yes but also it's under an, an understanding of it is a spectrum and they always say that if you've met one person with autism you met one person with autism because the different aspects of what makes someone autistic it, um, play out in totally different ways in each person so that is really what um, I'm definitely trying to advocate for is that autism, autism becomes part of of the the general understanding as much as ADHD and dyslexia as well. So that people like Chantel and anyone else who has a um, an autism diagnosis takes a little bit of that fear of the unknown and oh my gosh, what is this out of that whole experience? 